Running against the clock here. Relax, Commander. We've got the whole galaxy to explore. Planet Frost may feel like it robbed us from finding the orb, but it means nothing. We're one step closer to finding it, Commander. You're right. We will find the orb. It's frustrating, though. Why is Mac frustrating? He is frustrated with the matter that we cannot find the orb of life in order to save Planet Silver. What is frustrated? Frustration is an emotion of being upset or annoyed, especially because of the inability to change or achieve something. I do not feel frustration. I want to feel frustration. It is not a positive emotion. To find the Orb of Life is the quest of the crew. To discover myself is the quest of me, Utprosum, a robot of spare parts yet spared of emotion. I will discover my soul. I want to find my soul! Dramatic! Just like the living creatures already. You must understand that we are robotics and they are living creatures. Do not expect to find a soul within a mechanical exterior. Will you have faith in me, Appa Ratchin? I physically cannot. I can wish you good luck! Good luck! Thank you, Appa Ratchin. I do not know where to begin. You were born yesterday. You must go find Europa Inga. She is the ship's historian, and she knows about robology. Then I will find her. Find her. Then I will find my soul. I wish you the best. That doesn't sound correct. I thought it was... Oot! Don't sneak up on people like that. Apologies, Europa Inga. It's alright, Oot. Just be careful next time. What is the topic you are researching, Europa Inga? I was doing some research on Robology. I was actually trying to find out more about you. I programmed you quickly so we could get you up and running, but I'm unsure of your makeup. You know, exactly what your inner workings are. Maybe I can help. I am categorized as an Atlas robot, the definition of which is a humanoid robot designed to complete a variety of complex tasks, especially in situations unsafe for humans. I had figured that out already. I actually... Oh! I tried out a new recipe on the Callow deck, trying to enhance nutrients while improving flavor. Care to try? Well, what is it? I need to know if it's worth a try. I guess I'll take my leave then if you're going to be rude about it. Me and my three cheese lasagna will simply leave. Wait, wait, wait. Three cheese? I guess I could take a quick break from my research. Three cheese lasagna is my favorite. You know, since you're metal and wires and all that, I'm sure you wouldn't want any. Uh, actually, De La Rosa Nutrition, could I possibly have a serving? Of course. So, how is it? Great! I find that there is no discernible taste. What 
is the incredible smell. I felt it all the way down the sick bay. Are you feeling all right? Here we go. He seems fine. Anyone up for space s'mores? They're extra light. <laughs> broken. Come on, you're Obanga. You have a good understanding of robotic interiors. Help me, help me find some spare parts, just in case. Hey, what are you doing? One hundred sixty-three thousand eight hundred. Sixty-eight hundred twenty-five multiplied by twenty-four is not one hundred sixty-three thousand eight hundred. It's 160,380. Oh, please. You're the one who can't do simple math. To me? Your mathematical skills are rudimentary. Really, dumbass. Oh, you're the dumbass. You're the dumbass. No, you're the dumbass. Actually, my Emmy is correct this time, Billy Hergasa, making you, Billy, the dumbass. Yes. yes. Oot's prosim is wrong. It can barely function. No offense, Oot prosim. I do not believe it is possible for me to take any. You're wrong, Billy. You're wrong. No, you're wrong, Billy, and I are correct. Here. My <laughs> head <laughs> Cough up those units, Billy. Oot is alive and thriving. Oot Prosum? What you looking at? Bud. I will find it. Are you talking about the orb? Or planet? My soul. Does he know that he's a robot? He seems pretty self-aware to me. My soul. Obviously not enough. Searching for his soul. I'm sure you can relate. And what's that supposed to mean? Well, you were pretty soulless in prison, don't you think? Oot, where do you think you'll find a soul? Correction, dear Nicole, he's searching for his soul, not a soul. I am not sure. I believe Hippocrates was in search of a part or two that may help me fulfill my quest. Europa is searching my robology. That may help. Still, I need to do my part in finding a soul. A soul is not casually created. It is created when you are created. I think perhaps I have lost mine. Maybe you can help, Oo. Nikki's been in such a boat as you are now. I am not in a boat. You are, and Nikki has been a sailor in such a boat. I've done some time in prison. Prison? It's basically adult daycare. You take naps, you get lunch time, and you even get outdoor time. Will you stop it? I was rolling with a bad crowd and got myself in a lot of trouble. What kind of trouble? It's some bad stuff. I don't think your little robotic ears can handle it. I used bad judgment. Don't beat around the bush. There was a bush. Listen and learn. Go on, Nikki. Maybe oop, you can help me. I was involved with smuggling animals all over the galaxy. From rare pugly wolves to roaring stripes and snippy grates. I'm ashamed of what I did, stealing and selling illegal animals. 
At first I thought it was harmless. I thought, I'm like that guy who loaded two of each animal on an ark. Uh, what is an ark? A boat. I understand the boat reference now, though the bush eludes me. Totally up front. One day, we smuggled a beastly bark and it was infected with a hydrophobic disease. It was rabid. We didn't notice. It was in a cage covered on all sides and when we landed on the planet, the beastly bark started groaning. It made an odd sound and we thought nothing of it. We met the buyer and he wanted to meet his new pal immediately. So we opened the cage door and the beastly bark immediately took out one of my crewmates as well as the buyer's security guards. We took off, made tracks out of there. The beastly bark ended up destroying the entire planet. Then they caught us. I got eight years for smuggling and an additional 10 years for endangerment of a planet. But I was a model prisoner, so they decided to let me out early. That is if I signed on with Silver Star Enterprises, so here I am, alongside Mac and, and me, Victory Trio. Yes, dear trio, you too. The guilt I felt thinking about it in prison made me feel lifeless, soulless. Is that how you're feeling? That is how I am, but not sure what the feeling is. Does her story inspire you? Why would it? Well, maybe you too can take down an entire planet. It'd make me feel better about myself. But that sounded mean. It's sarcasm, but you'll learn. Pay no attention to victory. They can't understand what you're going through. Alrighty, Oop. Nikki has taught you the sads, and I'm gonna teach you the joys. Glee! Overlord of dry storage! Apparachin told me you should not have anything to do with dry storage. Depends on what you need, and who you get it from. Oh, hey! I didn't see you guys there! What's up? We have a situation. The Silver Star has sprung a leak. No! It's in the front engine room, closest to the bridge. Commander Mac needs it repaired immediately. You got it! <laughs> There's no leak. Then why tell Mechanic Galib that there is a leak? Messing with her is so much fun. Her connection to dry storage makes her so airy. You should try it. The prank. Not the dry storage. Zio, have some questions about your latest daily tracing of the galaxy. <laughs> My favorite, the daily tracing of the galaxy. You're so good at it. Did Victory Trio say what the leak was? Yes! Front engine in front of the bridge! Thanks, Pro. Glebe, why are you always in a cloud? Is it from the dry storage? It's the good stuff. I see. Really? Haven't a clue. Aw. Oh. Well, you hang in there, cutie ooty. I did it! I played a prank! What does it feel like? It's my turn! According to my calculations, it's always your turn! Have you ever heard of the term, respect your elders? That doesn't apply to music! Hand that remote over now! No! Come on! Let go of it! 
It's my turn! No! Sorry, um... You called? What seems to be the issue? Human creatures' behaviors fascinate me. I underestimate them. Their minds are not as powerful as they think, but at least they can think and feel. I want to be considered their equal. They always ask, Ut prosum, can you do this? It is never. Ut prosum, how are you? Sigh. I want a megabyte out of life to feel, to seek, to detect one's love and passion for one another. I do not envy the living creatures on board with me, but I do envy the understanding of their emotions. I want to desire mischief like Victory Trio does. On the other hand, I can always compute as a lifeless accountant in the same manner as Billy Hergasa. Hopeful sigh. I will soon understand the emotions of the living, and then I will find my soul. Hello, Commander. Utprosim. I wish I could be more like you. What do you mean? Nothing for you to worry about. Commander, I wish I could feel worry. Trust me, you don't want to. I have an entire planet on my shoulders. If we don't find the orb, our planet... Silver dies. There is no reboot button on life. I'm sorry if I offended you. I told our people we'd be back by now, ensuring that our motherland survived. What made me think that? Ego? Stupidity? Hope? You think hope? That's a good thing. It's funny. I feel especially badly about disappointing Nikki. Look at her. She's perfect. I mean, just stunning, isn't she? Doesn't she just radiate beauty? She's such a strong woman. And I can't continue to allow her to see me as being weak. Why do you care so much about the way Nikki feels? I want her to feel the same way about me that I feel about her. What is this emotion you are referring to? What I can say is... She can break me with a single glance. How could she do that? <laughs> she just can. It's this odd, seemingly random, impossible to divine emotion called love. Do you possess this love feeling for her? I do have feelings for her. And I want... I'm trying to impress her by being the best commander that I can be. I want her to see me as a strong leader. As a human, there is only so much you can handle, Commander. There is an entire planet at stake, and they are all relying on you. Bingo. L and please know, they are relying on you because they know you can handle it. She is proud of you. You think? It is her planet too. She would not waste her time if she did not see you as a good leader. And I would think handsome in her eyes. Strong. Dashing. Commander! Utprosim, you are absolutely right. I am strong, handsome, 
Most importantly, dashing. I will find the orb and restore our motherland. I'm glad we had this talk. If I could feel glee, I would be gleeful right now. <laughs> You were created in order to aid Commander Mack when I cannot. I am proud of you, though I cannot feel that. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do not have a soul, but I am happy when I can make someone else happy. What is happy? I do not know. Uh, uh, positive. Charged. Good. You're able to recognize happy. I cannot feel it. But I know it when I see it. I am glad you are making progress. Involving a lion, red shoes, and a scary crow, it is possible for a tin bot to have a heart. With this heart, you will be able to feel my dear robotic. Thank you, Doctor. I feel nothing. I miscalculated. Don't worry, I will continue working on this. You will feel emotions, Utrosim. And according to my research, emotions are the voice of the soul. Once you can feel, you'll be connected to your soul. I look forward to that moment. What is it? It's the hatch commander. He needs someone's outside. Bring it up on the big screen. Oh, hi, commander. What can I do you for? Why, why are you... Victory Trio told me we sprung a leak in our star, baby. So I'm out here, checking it out, for you, Commander. Is this funny? No, no, no. This, this is priceless. Everything looks to be in order. Take a quick walk around the craft, and if everything is fine, come back in. We have to keep going. Radio, Commander. Nice prank, Trio. Thanks. I was being sarcastic. Waiting. Hey. Hey. What's it been, two months? Three. I keep failing. Our motherland planet Silver is dying, but there's nothing you can do about that. You're not failing. You have no control over that. You know what I see out there? The great void. Hope. And I see it because of you. I believe in you. We will find the orb and we will make it back home. You know, if you're easy, Commander, you wouldn't ask the best commander on planet. Fine. Exactly, Mac. You're not alone. No? No. Thanks. This ship is bothering me. What's wrong? It's making me squirm. Did that help? I think perhaps, yes. I feel as though I was not successful today as well. I learned about my history. I tried new foods. And I even played a prank, with which I felt nothing but disbelief for the fact that I cannot feel emotion. I have spare parts. I beep. I clink. I feel defeated. Did you just say feel? 
Yes! Commander! I feel upset! You're upset? I am upset! Describe your upset. I feel low. Like a worn battery. Good person, you're feeling an emotion. I feel? I did it! It happened after Appa adjusted my chip. I think now it's capturing my brain and my soul to generate emotions. I have a soul. I still cannot eat like a breathing bean or play pranks just yet, and music is still just random sounds. Yet, I think I may eventually. The power of yet. I feel it. That's hope. I like this emotion of hope. Me too. As do I. Commander? I've got a reading. It's another planet. I know where to set course to next. Where to? We're going to the planet of the bots. Hey guys! Could somebody let me in? I forgot my access code.